Hello, my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp Limited in the UK and today I'd like to introduce you to a lovely stamp kit of ours that's been around for a little while now called the Letterbox Kit. Now the Letterbox Kit is an alphabet set. Uh, if you look at it here we've got uppercase and lowercase and there are a lot of um, alphabet sets out there I know but the difference with ours is that we've also got these little boxes here one two and three and we figured out that any combination of any of these boxes will give you any length word that you desire. Now of course um, the magic thing about an alphabet set is that you can personalize your work, you can talk about uh, special occasions, special people in your life, so it's pretty fantastic. I just want to show you today how to maximize on these little boxes here. I think the best thing we can do is make a little card and then uh, I'll pack as many tricks and tips into that card as I can. So the first thing I want to show you is the following. Let's, for example, let's decide what word we're going to do. So I've decided that I want to use the word Scotland. Now I know most of you know how to spell Scotland. The point is I'm writing it down so that I can decide which boxes I need. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight letters there. Um, so my suggestion is that we work from the center and work our way outwards. So I could take two squares, a three square, and a three square. And that's what I'm gonna do. This is a really simple trick and tip for centering your work. Now if I take that word, let's take a piece of card now, here we are, and I'm just going to use a black archival ink pad to give us a nice black sharp image. And I want to use the two and the three box. There we go. So I'll put two in the middle, like this. I'm going to work out pretty much the center. So let's have a look. Mm, it's about right. So I'll pop two in there. Then I'll take the threes and I'll add the threes on the side. So I can pop that one there, for example, and the other one here. Now, if I want to overlap them, you see here I've got a small gap. If I want to overlap them, then I can mask off um, the center one too. So I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute. But basically and quickly here, you can see I've got S-C-O-T-L-A-N-D. Now what I've done is, when you, let's just take a look at the stamps now while that's drying. When you get the stamps, they come like this in strips and we cut in between the letters. So what I do is I take a set of the clarity mounts and then depending on which project I'm doing, I mount up the letters that I'm going to need for that particular job or that composition and then I'm ready to rock. So let's have a look. First of all, let me just give you a little tip. If I take S for Scotland, watch what I do. When I pop the card, if I just give a little wiggle, I'll get a really perfect image every time. I think what's really cool about this set is that because of the, the boxes, the letter boxes themselves, you get a really funky, quirky look, but it looks very professional. You'll be very surprised how good this looks and how quickly you can build any word you fancy. So as you can see, I'm using uppercase all the way through, but just as easily I could have gone to lowercase. The, the stamps themselves, uh, they cling by themselves, so you don't need anything. And uh, they, they just can be cleaned with a baby wipe or with, uh, with water. You can wash them off. And we made a pledge, and we, we, we always said that if you ever lose, if you buy one of our uh, letterbox kits, if you ever lose a letter, like if you flush your eye down the sink, for example, do not worry, call the office and we will replace it free of charge. You send us an envelope and we'll, we'll replace the letter for you. Because uh, an alphabet's no good if you're missing the S or the I or any of them really. And if your name's Barbara like mine and you lose the A, 
you're, um, you're doomed, as they say in Scotland. So, now we've got this far, so the next thing we want to do is I want to show you something. If I wanted now to put the picture in the background, at Clarity Stamp we came up with a really ingenious thing, and that was to mask off the letters. So let me just show you. These masks, for example, they fit exactly on top. So you can, you can cover up the letters like so. And these are repositionable as well. But you see, but then you can stamp over the top and when you're finished, you can peel this off and put it back on your home base. And when we made these, we made sure that we gave you plenty. So you can, you can, like I've done here, use two threes and a two, for example, etc, etc, etc. Now, let's fast forward. And let me take, I've already done Scotland here. And what I did was as well, I just added a little bit of background. This is very simple, just by using uh, denim. And I used a, um, one of our lovely stencil brushes. I could just go back over it one more time, just in case you've never seen this before. Very, very simple. You just load up the brush directly like that, get rid of the excess and then dust into place. And you can see how easily you can add colour. And if I wanted to come around the side, you just dust around the edges like so. There we go. And we can get a really nice, a nice shadow. There we are. So once we've done that, for example, I wanted to show you also how we can take a makeup sponge and I want to take a pitch black. You could probably use archival black too, but I'm going to go with pitch black. It's a water soluble one. And uh, this is Adirondack. And if I want to, because the, the masks are um, plastic, you see, I can make a really neat shadow underneath. And what I do is I deposit the ink along on, on the actual um, mask itself. And then I can just drop it down underneath the letter boxes. And what it does is it gives it this really cool three-dimensional effect as if it was stuck down. So let's just go through here like so. So you just go like that and then you just come off the sides a little bit too. There we go, look. And then round the top maybe. I've got a little castle. Well, actually it's a huge castle. And I'm going to add that to the top of the image before I remove the, before I remove the masks. But you see how you can get a really cool shadow and the, the longer you do that, the darker it gets. Um, and then you just wipe through and of course your masks are clean as well. Now let's take a look. I'm going to use the uh, earth tones, um, the Adirondack for my castle too. Uh, this is Aileen Donnan Castle and it's got a bridge. So I'm going to add the bridge as well. So I reckon, oh the joys of transparent clarity stamping. I reckon that'll work. Let's see. So the first thing I want to do is add my castle and I just want to ink up the castle with the black Adirondack. The reason I'm saying let's go with an Adirondack is because um, if I was going to colour it in, for example, with a Pro Marker, then I would need a dye-based ink to do so. Now let's just add my castle, making sure that the base of the castle is on top of the the um, letters. There we go. Just allow the ink to soak into that um, plain white card. Cool. And then I'll take the bridge as well. And we'll just ink it up gently. There we go. And the bridge locks in to the castle quite nicely. And it just happens to fit perfectly. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're just going to add the bridge as well. So that it will be sitting, the plan is it will be sitting behind the alphabet. Now, of course, we've got a little bit of um, black that we've deposited now. So what on the on the masks, so what we're going to do is just wipe them through and that will add a little bit of shade already around the, the top part, like so. So we'll just do this as well. There we go. And then once I've done that, and I've cleaned off my masks, 
then we can take away the masks themselves. And you'll see then how the letters are completely protected by these masks. So we'll pop that one back. And here as well. There we are. And number three, two. Oh, I did it differently. I did a one and a two. There we are. So I've got my Scotland, which is really lovely and jumping out at us now. And, uh, and if you want, you see, what we can do is we can add a little bit of shadow. Now, if you want to protect these, there's another thing that you can do. You can take in this set, for example, there is also this one here, this solid block. Now, the thing about that is I've cleaned mine off. I took nail varnish remover and cleaned mine off. If I wanted to glaze these letters or colour them in even, then what I could do, and I, this is just to show you um, how it works. If, for example, I wanted to colour these letters in, then I could ink up my, my ink pad like so, and I could blot it like so, and then I can go in over the top and I can actually colour in. Now, I've obviously, I've got a blue ink pad to hand here, but if, for example, just stay there a minute because I know I've got uh, a pink one or something brighter than that. Let me just have a quick look. Okay. Let's take Wild Plum. This is a much brighter colour. And if I just want to show you now, if I blot this twice so it's quite faded, then I could go in, for example, and I could colour the letters very easily and very quickly. You see? So I'm blotting it twice so it's not too dark, but you could go through randomly like so. It's great, isn't it? And then once I've done that, if I wanted to, I could take a Versamark ink pad, you know, the, the embossing pad, and I could go back in over the top, little bit of embossing powder, heat it, and then I've also got um, a really cool embossed look. Let me show you a, a glazed example that I've already done. And you can see here where I've, I've actually glazed Scotland and used a couple of different colours. But this is great too. And exactly the same way as the masks, you can just wipe straight off the glaze and that's done exactly the same way. So going back to this now, um, very, very uh, simply, because we used a... Um, an Adirondack, then we're able to colour in the castle very simply. It's a really nice design anyway, but you see you can go over the castle and the bridge with a, with a Pro markers or Copics or any of your alcohol markers. There we go. Just colour in, add a bit of shadow, add a bit of colour. There we are. Nice. So, in essence, that's what I wanted to show you, was just how you can mask, how to position, how to stamp over or into the background by covering up, either by glazing, and how to use that uh, solid stamp for either colouring or embossing. So, I, I hope that that was helpful. The letterbox kits come as a, a flat pack, and the masks are a very good idea. Of course, you can cut them out yourselves, but we make them for you. Thanks very much for joining me. Bye-bye now.